238. Now in this paper, eight question numbers, 66 to 70. Now in this one, 66 to 70, how many persons are there? Eight people, KLMNOPQR, live on eight, eight different floors of a building, but not necessarily in the same order. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Eight floors, eight persons, and there is no other parameter added to this one. Just we need to identify who is staying on which floor. Then condition number one, P lives on an even number floor, but not on the topmost floor. And so how many possibilities we have for this P? Six, four, and two. Now P can be either on the sixth floor, or P can be on the fourth floor, or P can be on the second floor. And so how many possibilities? In total we have some three possibilities. And only three people between L and P, one, two, three, three people is here. And only three people between L and P. Now in the second case, L is on the eighth floor. And only three people between L and P. And in the third case, no P, L can be on the sixth floor. This is the first one, second one, and the third one. Then, R lives immediately below L. R is immediately below L. R is immediately below L. And R is immediately below L. Only two people between R and M. Now in between R and M, only two people here. And between R and M. Here, the second case is not possible because P and M cannot be in the same place. And only two people between R and M. Now in the third case, M must be on the top floor. Only two. Next one. K lives immediately above Q. K lives immediately above Q. K is immediately above Q. Here, K lives immediately above Q. Four and third. And... There are as many people between Q and R as between R and O. In between Q and R equals to R and O, that means R must be in between these two. Q and R, now in the first case between Q and R, how many persons are there? One, two, three, four, five. And again between R and O, we must have exactly five people. Q and R, how many persons? One, two, three, four, five. R and O, we must have exactly five people. One, two, three, four, five. P and O must be in the same place which is not possible, and this case is completely ruled out. Now in between Q and R. Now in between Q and R, tell me how many persons are there? There is exactly one person. And R and O, there must be exactly one person. O is here. If O is here, then who is the person left over? And is the person left here. Clear now? This is how these eight persons are staying on eight different floors of a building. And the persons are K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, and R. Clear enough? Yes, any doubts in this five sixty-six to seventy? Clear? Then seventy-one to seventy-five. Now in this seventy-one to seventy-five, tell me what is the information we have? And in total we have some twelve people. Twelve people are seated in two parallel rows containing six people each in such a way that there is an equal distance between adjacent persons. And in row one, who are the persons in row one? J, K, L, M, and O are the six persons in row one. And all of them are facing towards south. And in row two, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, and they are facing towards north. Now in total, we have some 12 persons. Now these 12 persons are seated in two different rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the second row, one, two, three, four, five, six. And tell me who are the persons in the first row here? J, K, L, M, and O. And J2 are the persons who are facing towards south. And towards north, U, V, W, X, Y, Z are the persons who are facing towards north. Then, then condition number one. M sits fourth to the left of J. <coughs> M is fourth to the left of J. Tell me how many possibilities we have. M sits fourth to the left of J if J is here. As the J is facing towards south, M is to the left hand side, means towards our right hand side, 1, 2, 3, 4. M sits 4 to the left of O. M sits 4 to the left of J. That is the first possibility. And the second possibility, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if J is here, M will be here. <coughs> Done with this? 
and finally we have only two possibilities. J sits, M sits fourth to the left of J. <coughs> the one who is, who is facing J sits third to the left of Y. The one who is facing J, this person is seated third to the left of whom, third to the left of Y, Y must be here. And the one who is facing J sits third to the left of Y, Y is second from the right. <coughs> and next one, only one person between Y and U. Now in between Y and U, how many persons are there? There is exactly one person. Only one person between Y and U. Now in between Y and U, there must be exactly one person. Only one person between Y and U. U does not sit at any one of the extreme ends. U cannot be here. And so U must be here. Only one person between Y and U. And U cannot be at the at any one of the extreme ends. And next one. And the one who is facing Z, sits second to the right of K. <coughs> The one who is facing Z sits second to the right of K. Now, now tell me whether K can be here or not. If K is here, the one who is who is facing, sorry, K, the one who is facing Z sits second to the right of K. Now, next one, Z cannot be at this place, isn't it? And Z cannot be here. If Z is here, the one who is facing Z that is, this person sits second to the right of K, which is not possible because M is already there. Hence, K cannot be here, and Z cannot be here. And next one, Z cannot be here, and Z cannot be here as well. Hence, in the first case, there is no place left for the Z at all. And the first case is ruled out. And in the second case, the one who is facing Z, the one who is facing Z, if Z is here, this is a person who is facing Z, and sits second to the right of whom, sits second to the right of K, K can be here. That is the one possible. Or, and Z does not sit at any one of the extreme ends, that is also clearly specified. Hence, Z cannot be here. As Z cannot be here, Z is here. If Z is here, the one who is facing Z sits second to the right of K. And if you take Z at this place, and this person is facing Z, and sits second to the right of K, K and M must be in the same place, not possible. Hence, there is only one possibility to this Z and K. Clear now? There is only one possibility between Z and K. Only two people between K and O. Only two people between K and O. O is here. And the one who is facing K sits so second to the left of X. Facing K sits so second to the left of X. V is not an immediate neighbor of Z. Hence V is here. L is not an immediate neighbor of M. L is here. Then who is the person left over here? J, K, L, M, N, O. And in this one U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. This is how these 12 persons are seated in two different rows and six persons in one row and six in the other row. Clear? And this is about question numbers 66 to 70, 71 to 75. Then question numbers 81 to 85 as Input output 76 to 80 completed. 76 to 80 input output. Yes, tell me how many of you have completed this one, 76 to 80? 76 to 80. Now 76 to 80. Then 81 to 85. I'll come back to this one one second afterwards, OK? Then 81 to 85. Yes, tell me what are the elements in this one, 81 to 85. Now, seven friends, namely P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V, visit seven different countries, namely Japan, Germany, and so on, and from Monday and ending on Sunday. Starting on Monday, ending on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, seven persons, seven friends, namely P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V, visit seven different countries on seven different days, isn't it? On seven different days. Then tell me what about condition number one here? Our visits on Thursday. Our visits on Thursday, our must be here. Only two people between our and the one who visits Germany. Our and the one who visits Germany, the one who visits Germany can be either on Monday. Or what is the other possibility for is here? Only two people, that means the one who visits Germany can be either on Sunday. Either Monday or Sunday, there are two possibilities here. And only four people between the one who visits Germany and we. 
between Germany and we, how many people are there? There are four people. Hence, in the first case, we must be on Saturday. And in the second case, we must be on Tuesday. Because there must be only four people between Germany and we. And only four people lives between Germany and we. And the next one, the one who visits Malaysia, visits immediately before we. Malaysia is immediately before we. And Malaysia is immediately before we. The one who visits Malaysia visits immediately before we. Only two people between Malaysia and P. Now between Malaysia and P, how many people are there? There must be exactly two people. And two people between Malaysia and P. Here in the second case, between Malaysia and P, two people is completely ruled out. Then P and R must be in the same place, not possible here. And second case is ruled out. Now we are left with only the first one. S visits on one of the days after the one who visits Malaysia. After Malaysia, yes, that must be on Sunday. And U visits immediately before. U visits immediately after the one who visits Germany. And U is immediately after the one who visits Germany. And so U and Germany, U and Japan, isn't it? And U and Japan must be adjacent to each other. As U and Japan, U can be on Friday, and U can be on Wednesday, isn't it? And U cannot be on Monday, because U must be after this Japan, which is not possible. There are two possibilities for U, either on Wednesday or on Friday. And U does not visit Malaysia. As U does not visit Malaysia, hence U cannot be on Friday. Hence U must be on Wednesday, if U is on Wednesday. And the one who likes Japan is on Tuesday. Clear now? The next one. And only three people visit between the one who visits Japan and the one Nepal. Between Japan and Nepal, there must be exactly three people. Hence, the one who visits Nepal is on Saturday. And Japan and Nepal, the one who visits Australia visits immediately before China. Australia is immediately before China. This is Australia is immediately before this China. Australia immediately before China. Then what is the, which country is left over here? India. And the one who visits India is on Sunday. And Q does not visit on Monday. Q must be on Friday. If Q is on Friday, then what is left over here? P, Q, R, S, T. T must be on Monday. Clear now? And this is about question number 81 to 85. Seven different days, seven different persons visit seven different places. Then, yes, completed writing this. Then let us discuss about question number 86 to 90. Now in this 86 to 90, what is the information here? And these are based on syllogisms. Some of the outputs are what, some outputs are results. As how to represent this one, some of the outputs are results can be written like this. And these are the outputs which are results. Some of the outputs are results. And all outputs are products. And all these outputs are what? All outputs are products. And all these products are what? All products are yields. Then, first one, all outputs are yield, definitely true. Second, all results are yields is a possibility. Now tell me whether we can able to write R like this or not. Isn't it? Hence, it is possible. Hence, both one and two, choice three is the answer. And again, as the statements are affirmative, for a possibility, we can write it as a single diagram. That is y equals to p equals to o equals to r. Isn't it? All the statements are affirmative. Possibility is always two. Hence, what is your answer? Both one and two. That is choice three. Then coming to question number 87. All these crops are project. All crops are project. Some of the projects are missions. And no mission is a guide. No mission is a guide. Then first one. Some projects are guides. Project and guide. That is false. And no project is a guide is definitely true. As a second conclusion is true, it is a negative conclusion. And to make this one false, now we need to prove some of the projects are guide. Now project and guide should be written like this. Now tell me, is it possible to write down like this? Now if you write down like this, then what happens is statements are valid. All the statements are valid. Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. After making the previous conclusion, then we need to check out the affirmative conclusion that was false in the basic diagram has become true or not. Now in the second diagram, alternate diagram, now tell me some projects are gets is true or not. Hence that has become true. Hence when the first one is false, second is true, second is false, first is true. Between these two, only one must follow. Both cannot happen at the same time. Hence it is the case of either one or two. Play now, either one or two. 
87. Then question number 88. Now in this question number 88, some of the outputs are results. Some outputs or results can be written like this. And these are the outputs which are results. And next one, all outputs are project and products. And all these products are what? All products are yields. All these products are yields. Then first one, no project is a, no product is a result that will be false because some of the product are result is true. All yields are product. All yields are product that is also false. Hence, neither one nor two, choice five is the answer. 88, it is choice five. Then question number 89. Now in this 89, all crops are projects and these are the crops which are projects and some of the projects are missions and no mission is a guide. No intersection between mission and a guide. And first one, no guide is a crop. No guide is a crop is true. And some missions are crop. Some missions are crop that is false. As a first one, no guide is a crop is true. Now this guide and crop these two are negative statement, negative conclusion. As a negative conclusion is true to make this one false, now we need to prove the complementary pair. What is a complementary here? Some of the guides are crop. Some guides are craft means guide and craft can be written like this or not. And some guides are crafts can be written. Hence, so no guide is a craft will be false. At the same time, now we need to check out the affirmative that was false in the basic diagram has become true or not. As yes, what is the second one here? Some missions are craft. Now, some missions are craft, so now all said is false. Hence, so what is your answer? Neither one nor two. Choice five is the answer. Question number 89, choice five. Then 90th, now 90, no price is what, no price is rate, and all rates are expenses. No price is rate, this is price and this is rate. No price is rate, and all these rates are what, all rates are expenses. Then first conclusion, no expense is a price, definitely true. And all, second one is a possibility. Now first we need to finalize the definite conclusions. Now to make this one false, now we need to prove some of the expenses are price. Now tell me whether we can write price like this or not. And some expenses are price is true. And so no expense is a price will be false. Then coming to the second, all prices are expenses is a possibility. All prices are means, now tell me whether we can write price like this or not. Yes, it is possible. Hence what is your answer? Only conclusion two is true. Only conclusion two choice four. And this is about 90. Then question number 91. Now in this 91, the relation between L and U. L is here and U is here. The letter which is common is B is common. And B greater than or equals to L. And B lesser than or equals to U. That means U greater than or equals to B. Now U greater than or equals to B and this one. And it's U greater than or equals to L. L is either lesser than or equals to. Either lesser or equals to. And it's either one or two choice five. Question number 91, choice 5. Then 92, X and K. X and K, K is here, X is here, which element is common here? W is common. Now W in between W and X, there are two opposite symbols. Hence, no relation can be drawn between X and K. Then coming to the next one, L and W. W is here, L is here, the letter which is common is C. W greater than or equals to C, greater than or equals to L. W greater than or equals to L. That means L less than or equals to W is true. And so only conclusion to choice two. 93, R and J. Now R and J, R is here and J is here. The letter which is common is U is common. Now U less than or equals to R and J. U less than or equals to J means J greater than or equals to U. Hence between J and R, two opposite symbols, no relation can be drawn. Then next one L and K. K is here, L is here. Now K greater than or equals to U. L less than U means U greater than L. Now between K and L. K greater than L is true. L less than K is also true. And so what is your answer? Only conclusion two. Only conclusion two, choice four. 93, choice four. Then 94. Now in this 94, D and L. Now in between D and L, C is common here. D greater than C greater than or equals to L. And so D greater than L is true. As D greater than L is true, D equals to L is false. Hence, only one is true, choice four. Then 95. Now in this 95, relation between R and S. R is here, S is here, the letter which is common is M. R less than M. 
m less than or equals to s r less than s s greater than r is to s greater than r is to second one y and s now in between y and s m greater than or equals to y m less than or equals to s means s greater than or equals to m hence s greater than or equals to y y less than or equals to s hence both 1 and 2 choice 2 and this is about question numbers 91 to 95 then coming to 96 to 100 now in this 96 to 100 now tell me what is information we have and it is based on coding and decoding now some words in given in the first sentences and in the sentences words were there and the codes were given first urban people prefer cars profit for urban areas tell me what is the word which is common here urban is common as urban is common between these two tell me what is the code which is common between these two urban as urban is the word which is common and the code which is common between these two is ab hence the code to the word urban is ab urban is ab urban is ab then if you compare the first and the third people prefer cars and people is the word which is common and what is the code which is common here people prefer car and people is here v e l m e g v e l m e g Yes, VE is the word code which is common, and the code to the word people is VE. Then the first and the fourth one prefer and cars, and there is no word common between these two. Hence, prefer and cars, the codes cannot be identified here, and prefer and cars, and the two codes are LM or EZ in any order. LM and EZ in any order. Then compare the second and the third. Profit for areas. And for is the word which is common, as for is the word which is common here. And the code which is common between these two is ZI. And the code for profit is ZI. Profit is ZI. For is ZI. And profit and areas are the words left over. Profit is the word which is common here. As profit is common and the code which is common is NPSU. NP is common. Hence the code to the word profit is NP. It also profit is NP. And in the first one, areas is the word, and the code which is common is SU. Hence, the code to the word areas is SU. Then, demand and height. Now, in between these two, height is the word which is common. As a height is common between these two, and the code which is common is CD. Hence, the code to the word height is CD. Then, what is the word left over here? Demand. And the code, what is the code left over here? QR. And the code to the word demand is QR. And next one, in and margin. Now, in and margin, these two words were not repeated in anywhere in the earlier statements. And the code for these two cannot be identified here. And the codes are Excel or JN in any order. Now, these are the words and their corresponding codes. Then coming to question number 96. And in the code language, if small is, small is coded as WY. Small is what? Small is WY. Prefer and cards. And prefer and cars, LM, EG in any order. LM or EG in any order. Hence, LM, WY, EG, choice 3. Then 97. What is the code for the word areas? Yes, what is the code to the word areas here? Areas is SU, choice 4. Then question number 98. What does the code JN stands for? The code JN stands for what? JN stands for either in or margin. Either in or margin, that is choice 3. In or margin, choice 3. Then question number 99. What will be the possible code for urban food demand? Urban is AB and food. And is there any word called food? Food is not there. And demand. And demand, what is the code here? Demand is QR. Hence, AB, QR must be present. And the code to the word food. And food is nowhere repeated in the statements, as food is not repeated anywhere here. And the code for food also cannot be identified. Isn't it? Hence, food. Hence, ABQR. This cannot be your answer. ABQR is there. Now, tell me whether MJ could be the code to the word food or not. MJ can be the code to the word food or not. Yes, because now food MJ is not repeated anywhere in, a, in the given state codes. Hence, it is the code to the word food. Hence, what is your answer here? Q, R, A, B, M, J. And choice 3 cannot be your answer. And choice 4, Q, R, A, B is there. Now, C, D cannot be the code to the word food because C, D is the code to the word hike. 
and so choice 4 cannot be wrong sir and 5 cannot be wrong sir because a b and q are were not there three choices were ruled out now between 2 and 4 we need to finalize and 4 cannot be wrong sir hence 5 is the answer 99 then 100 what will be the code for the word hike as the code to the word hike is cd and cd and other than the options given choice 4 clear now this is about paper number 238 and question number 76 to 80 we have left here now let us go through this one once again 76 to 80 now it is based on input and output yes tell me how many of you had on this one input and output done input and output yes why most of the students haven't done this one chapan hindu jail Class law topic kya bolega? Ante na? Class law topic kya ye chain wale ante mandu na? Class law topic kya ye mere chain wale ante mandu na? Then, because seventy six to eighty and in fact, input and output is considered to be the scoring area in your examination. Ona kya? And if you identify the pattern here, then you can easily score 5 out of 5 in this. Then first let us discuss about the pattern in this one. Yes, what is the pattern followed in this? So when first in this one input, how many elements are there? There are some 12 elements in the given input and 6 numbers and 6 words. 6 numbers and 6 words were given. Then final output. First we need to identify the logic behind this one. In order to identify the logic behind this one, first we need to compare input with the final output. And input and final output if you compare here. Now in the final output, three numbers were written at the first place, 71, 23, 15, isn't it? And 71, 23, 15, these three are what? These three are odd numbers in the descending order. And next one, amount, elderly and opium. Now these are the three words and these three words are starting with the vowels, vowels in the ascending order. First odd numbers in the descending order, next vowels in the ascending order, next even numbers in the ascending order, now the words and which are started with the consonants in the descending order. First numbers, then words, next numbers, next words, alternately numbers and words. That means three numbers will be arranged at the first place and next three number three words will be arranged at the first place again three numbers and three words. That means first place and last place, the words and the numbers will be interchanged. Then only we will get this three and three, three and three. Earlier also we had discussed about this one, isn't it? Now if all the numbers were arranged at a particular place, then all the numbers will be arranged either at the left hand side or right hand side. Or all the words are at a single place, then all the words were arranged at the first place or at the last place. But as here, three numbers, three words, again three numbers, three words. That means, now in the first three places, if you observe here, three words were arranged, then here three numbers were arranged, then three numbers at the left hand side, then three words at the right hand side. Then only you will get this alternate order. Then, now the logic has been finalized. Now in the logic, first one is what? Three odd numbers in the descending order, then three vowels in the ascending order, then three even numbers in the ascending order, then three words started with the consonants in the descending order. Then coming to the pattern. Now in this pattern, in order to identify the pattern, we need to compare input with step one. Now in step one, what is the change between input and step one? Opium. That is the highest word with vowel. Isn't the word which is starting with the highest vowel arranged at the first place? 23, kinetic, amount, 64, nature. 71, verdict and so on arranged, shifted to the next place. And finally, the last number, 58. 58 is, what about this 58? Now 58 is the lowest even number arranged at the last place. As tell me what are the elements which are arranged at the first and the last? First place, the word with the highest vowel arranged at the first place and at the last place, the least even number arranged at the last place. And last even number arranged at the last place. Then, opium in step two, opium shifted to the second place and in step two, this 58 shifted to the 11th position. Isn't it? Then before this opium, the word starting with vowel, E, arranged at the first place. Then next number two, next even number two, 58, 64, arranged at the last place. 
then again elderly shifted to the next place 64 shifted to the next place and the previous level to elderly amount amount arranged at the first place here the highest number highest number arranged at the last place then now three words arranged at the first place completed and three numbers arranged at the last place completed now the numbers were arranged at the first place odd numbers and the words which are with the consonants are arranged at the last place then in step four the least what is this one the least odd number arranged at the first place and here the highest word which is starting with the consonant consonant with the highest arranged at the last place and in step five next number to 15 is 23 next to, and the previous word that is starting with the consonant at the last place and again finally the highest odd number and the least consonant arranged at the last place and this is how these elements were arranged in these six steps clear now and again question numbers 76 to 80 if you observe here all these questions are based on a single input as they are based on a single input and only 12 elements were given as they are based on a single input you have to work out all the given steps because five questions will be there on six steps as five questions will be there on six steps on each at the most on each and every step you will definitely have one question isn't it rather than working out individually for each of these questions it is always advisable you to go through the entire procedure okay and you won't save much time in this one but the time I save out the money direct and again and again, your procedure then there won't be any pressure on your head. Easy ga jay skill But whereas if the time is very limited, time is very limited in the sense only two minutes were there at the last. At that time we cannot able to write down all the steps. And first is you need to work out this one by writing down all the steps. That is the first priority. And if at all under some unavoidable circumstances and if there is very less time limited and you have to snatch at least two to three marks from this five set on a gather up to one of five out of five on a target sale of the angels even can use one or two marks of snail then how to work out this one directly i'll explain see here and again after going to your home first work out this one on your own without seeing the solution in the regular procedure then only try to work out in the next alternate method i have discussed into your home in lot right channel Then next one. Then, now which are the following combinations? Which are the following combinations represent the first two and the last two statements in step six? Now tell me, in the input, how many elements are there in the input? 12 elements. 12 elements are there in each step, two, two elements are arranged. How many steps are required to get the final output? Six steps. That means here is asking in step six. Step six is nothing but is asking for what? Final output. Now in the final output, tell me what are the first two and the last two elements. Now first two are what? First two are what? And two odd numbers in the descending order, highest and the next. Now in this one, highest and the next, tell me what is the first number here? 81. And the previous one to 81 is what? 59. Hence 81 and 59. 81 and 59, there is only one choice. Choice one is the answer. And in order to work out this one, do you? Is it required for us to write down the entire procedure? definitely you will have some two to three questions of this model. Then just you need to use your brain at that time. Next one. And the last two letters. The last two words tell me what are the last two words here? The last two words are nothing but the second and the least words in the consonant. Consonant. Now in this one, yes, what are the words we have? Least word is what? Bakery. And the next highest one is launch. And launch and a bakery choice one is the answer. Done with this, this is about question number 76. Then question number 77. Which element come exactly between 59 and bakery in step 2? What is the question we have? In step 2, now we need to find out what are the elements which are there in between 59 and bakery. Follow the 59 and bakery ki step 2 lo yeah yeah words much long time son. Then in step one, tell me what happens in step one. Step one range are the highest vowel. Which, which is the highest vowel? Ampere completed. Next one, the number, the least odd number. 
what is least odd number or least even number least even number and they get the least even number of the highest even least even number now what is the least even number 14 also been now ampere arranged at the first place 14 arranged at the last place these two elements will be arranged in the first step then in step 2 what happens here the previous word to empire that is idioms and the next one the next even number to 14 next even number to 14 is what 36 now in step 2 these 36 and idioms were arranged at the first and the last places respectively isn't it then what happens here now the question is about in step 2 itself and 15 and, and back in. now in 15 15 and, and back you tell me what are the words which you have we are having 15 and back is salient and 81 81 and salient choice and choice to is the answer yes 77 choice please choice to survey then <coughs> then yes now whether you can able to score two marks in this one or not how much time you need for this one less than one minute so yes sir then then next one 78 now in this question number 78 in which step are the elements bakery launch 47 14 were found in the same order bakery launch 47 14 were found in the same order now earlier we had discussed in this one empire and 14 in step 1 and in step 2 36 and idioms in step 2 and in step 3 yes tell me what about this step 3 here step 3 the previous one to idioms that is adverb and the next highest even number highest even number 62 now these were done then bakery 40 launch 47 14 bakery launch 47 and this 14 what happens to this 14 here 14 is the least number now that will be shifted to the third place that means 14 will become after this and so what is your answer here step 3 is the answer third step yes and this is only for the old students but it is not for the new students and once for the new students the topic has been completed in your classroom then you will get some hold up on this topic okay and please do not get scared about this one meri bhai par valsin pani inda patwal inka ba jastar patwal kan learn hindi japandi patwal sani man discuss jastanam class okay that too ee explanation process anta meri ventnar ga appudu chaala easy ayipothu and to be frank and at the earliest the new students will fetch good jobs rather than the old students okay meer intho mundu observe chestuntam kotta vallu twaraga job lu kote chances ekku untai manu okay and provided and you have to go through the entire procedure classroom examination followed by explanation daily then you can easily clear the examination and at the earliest when compared with your senior students okay and next one 79 as yes, whatever question number 79 now in this 79 in step 3 idioms interchange its position with 81 and in step 3 step 3 we already decided that one in step 3 step 3 in the mundi jason in jason japan step 3 now in step 3 what should happen here or else let us take directly this one step 3 now the vowels what are the vowels we have Vowels is adverb at the first place, next one idioms at the second place, and empire at the third place, and the last. What are the last elements we have? Even numbers. What are the even numbers we are having? 14, next one 36, and 62. This is step 3. And together? Then, hence what are the elements we have done? Adverb 36, idioms, and 14 as empire, and 62. Now these are the elements completed and all the remaining elements will be shifted in the same order what are the remaining elements 59 salient 81 bakery launch and 47 then now the question is about idioms interchanges its position with 81 idioms and 81 were interchanged and at the same time salient and 14 salient and 14 were interchanged then which among the following will be third to the left of 47 47 is here, third to the left of 47 is 81. Now this 81 is replaced with idiom, so I is to is done. None of this? 80, 79 it is choice one. Then question number 80. As clear? Follow here or not? Because we have directly written step 3 rather than following step 1, step 2, and so on. Then question number 80. Now in this question number 80, which element is fourth to the right of 
eighth element from the right hand in step five. Now in step five, step five, fourth to the right of eighth from the right. Eighth right, fourth right. Eighth right, fourth right is nothing but eighth right, fourth right. Fourth from the right hand side. Now in step five. Now in step five, tell me one, two, three, four, five. Which element is coming at the fifth? And fourth from the right together, fourth from the right. Now fourth from the right hand side. In step five, one, two, three, four. Yes, which element is coming to this place? Which element? 64. 64 is what? The second highest even number. Now in this one, what is the second highest even number? 36 is gone. Clear? Yes, tell me to be frank. How much time do you require in order to work all these five questions? And the time call in? Isn't it? Hence, first you need to work out in the regular procedure, then start working in this one. And for the senior students, I, I, I haven't explained this one in the class. You have class to explain it. Explanation to explain it. What do you want to explain it? You want to explain it. 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 Done? You want to explain it. Now, a star birth. Star means conditions applied. What are those conditions that applied? If there is a very lesser time. And in the, during that one or two minutes, so how many marks, maximum marks you can able to score, at that time you have to work for this number. Done? Well and good, Bob practice chase around Kundi. It won't be question in one or two minutes for chase around Kundi, directly you can go for this. But yes, it takes lots of time and lots of practice as well. Okay? Done with this? Yes, any doubts in this? 76 to 80. Once you're putting in doubts on either 76 to 80 low. Follow here. Then, yes, what is the next one here? Number series completed. Any doubts in this point? Number series, question numbers, please. Number series 51 to 55. Now, in this one, 300, 219. 300, 219, 319. Now, 300 and 219, what is the difference here? Minus 81. Next one is 100, isn't it? 81, 100. And 319 and this one, here the difference is how much? Minus 121. And next one is plus 144. And next one is minus 169. 342 minus 169, 173, choice 3. 51. Squares are subtracted and are added alternately. 9 square minus 9 square plus 10 square minus 11 square plus 12 square minus 13 square. Then question number 52. Now in question number 52, number once decreased, from there onwards it is increasing, and so we need to go for into 0.5. 8 into 0.5 is 4, and 4 into 1, into 1.5, into 2, and into 2.5, into 2 is 12, choice 1. 52, choice 1. Into 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. Then question number 53. Now in this 53, the difference between 500 and 485. Difference is 15. And 485 and 462, what is the difference here? Now the difference between these two is minus 23. And 15, 23. Yes, what is the next difference we have? And 462 and this one, this is minus 32. 15, 23, 32. Next one. And next one, 40 and 30 and this one. And minus 42. Now 15 and 28, difference is 8. And 23 and 32, difference is so much? 9. And 32 and 42, difference is 10. Next one is 11. And so minus how much should be subtracted here? Minus 53. 8 minus 3, 5, 8. And 8 minus 3, 5, and 53. Isn't it? And 35 choice 3. 53 choice 3. Then 54, 34, 18. Now the numbers are in the decreasing order. And so we need to start in the reverse order. Now in the reverse, 6 and 10. 6 into 2, minus 2, 10 into 2, minus 2, 18 into 2, minus 2, 3 into 2, minus 2. How much? 4. 4 into 2 minus 2, that is 8. The missing number is 4. Now, if you have gone for the difference, then also you will get the answer. Then 55. Now, in this 55, 1, 5, 14, 41. 1, 5, 14, 41. And 41 and 122, if you are there here, 41 into 3 is so much? 41 into 3, 123, minus 1, 122. 14 into 3, 42, minus 1. 5 into 3, 15, minus 1. 1 into 3, 3, 3 minus 1, 2. Now 2 into 3, 6 minus 1 is 5. Yes, what is the missing number here? And 2 is the missing number. Done with this?
and this is about paper number 238 question numbers 51 to 55 and question number 66 to 100 clear any doubts in this paper anything else to be discussed in this paper